chercher! Come on! Lovely, lovely, lovely. They've been warming up all night. I think actually they have been severely. I mean, I, I actually, funnily enough, I, I asked this of Walter the other night. I said, "Was the uh, upper stand rocking so much because you were leading it all?" And actually, you said it wasn't. No, really. I tell you, I tell anyway. you what. We've oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> only got this is the home stretch. We are the Chelsea fan club. I'm Stanford Chidge, and Ooh. these boys are brilliant and Your they've friends. been funny tonight. They are my ex friends. In some <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, somebody who I hope is still a very good friend of mine is the wonderful, delightful, chadtastic Statmeister General, commonly known as Chelsea Chadder, and he's so important to this show he has his own sting, and it goes something like this. <laughs> Well, what do you got with us this week then, Chadda? Uh, I'm going to start off, actually, uh, we were asked a question in the week from at Charlie Gould 93 and he wanted to know, uh, who's played the most games for Chelsea without ever being sent off or scoring an own goal? So uh, I had a look, and the answer to that is Kerry Dixon. 420 games without being sent off or an own goal. So if anybody's got any of their own questions that you might like to ask, then send an email to chelseafancast at gmail.com or send us a tweet. Uh, and maybe I'll read it out next week. Brilliant. Like that. Like mm. that a lot. Mm. But my stats for this week start as this. The game against Arsenal was Chelsea's 800th in cup competitions. Jose Mourinho has now been the Blues manager for over 200 games. The defeat to Newcastle was only the fourth time that Mourinho has lost by more than one goal in the Chelsea game. Both of Chelsea's defeats in the Premier League this season have come when we've actually had more possession than the opposition. Uh, congratulations to Thomas Callas, who becomes the 691st player to uh, make a Blues appearance. And also to Cesar Azpilicueta for his goal against Arsenal. He becomes the 429th person to net for the Blues. Go on, Dave. Michael Essien's now played 200 domestic games for Chelsea. And my stat of the week is this. Juan Mata has now scored against Arsenal in all four games where he's started. So is he perhaps the new curse of Arsenal taking over from Didier Drogba? Hey! Chelsea Chadda! Chelsea Chadda! Hello! Hello! Chelsea Chadda! Chelsea Chadda! Hello! Hello! Chad, Chad, Chad. I have got a stat. I'm going to stat right back at you, mate. You're going to yep. love this stat. You ready for this stat? I'm ready, yep. This, is, this came in from at Rash or Rashad CFC, who I don't know, but I found it on Twitter. It's just genius. Chelsea have never lost a game in which Petr Cech has kept a clean sheet. Fact! Wow, that is an incredible stat, that one. Um, <laughs> I'll have to add that to my many database. So, Chelsea have never lost when Petr Cech has kept a clean sheet. That's incredible. Wow. I thought it was a brilliant stat, man. Yeah, I love Carl, it. That's not wrong. It's not wrong. No, it's... Anyway, no. where can we find more of your good work, my friend? You can go to my website, which is www.chelseachadder.com and you can follow me on Twitter, at Chelsea Chadder. Chelsea Chadder! Chelsea, Chelsea Chadder! Hello. Hello. Hello! Lovely, 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 lovely. Now, uh, if that wasn't enough for all of you horrible lot out there, uh, we have some, uh, some stuff to plug, which I generally call news, and a, a little... Little reminder of what it's about goes something like this. Bongo's ready, Pablo. Yeah, we, we should have told told Walter they're imaginary <laughs> bongos. You don't have to actually play them; they're imaginary. That's how we roll on this show. Now, Alan, this is Sorry. competition time, which kind of deserves like a, a, a trumpet fanfare or something. Don't try it. Don't try it. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, bottom line is is that uh, CampoRetro.com, uh, who do a fine line in uh, retro shirts. You can hold this up, Pablo. There you go. Ross did such a poor oh, job last week. I messed it up week. last week. Yeah. yeah, but anyway, we've got a competition to win this very, very shirt. It's very sexy, uh, and it's open to anybody all over the world, uh, whether you live in Ulaanbaatar or Oldham. I don't mind. You can still win it. Now, the Where's question... Um, Ulaanbaatar <laughs> is the capital city of Outer Mongolia. And we have listeners there, Walter, before you ask. Anyway, it's true. We do. Anyway. It's a top stat, uh, that is. Let me carry on. Right, the answer, answer this question if you want to win this shirt, which is, who is the king of Stamford Bridge uh, who has a statue in his honour outside the ground? Don't tell them. Now, to enter the competition, you need to email your name and answer the question 
uh, and send it to competitions at camporetro.com. Now, the competition closes on the 20th of November, and the winner will be announced soon after, and you will receive an email from Campo Retro to request information on shirt size and delivery address should you win. Kevin McAllister. And all <coughs> entries will also uh, receive an exclusive discount to use, and you can find the link on our Facebook fan page, and the address for that is facebook.com forward slash Chelsea Fancast. Now, more new news, uh, and of course, the Chelsea Supporters Trust is a great thing to belong to. We all know they have a lovely it logo, is. which sometimes we see on the screen. Because I like it. There we go. Christmas it's beautiful. party. Exactly. You know what's coming up, Walt. Anyway, but before you do that, actually, if you want to go to the Christmas party, join up first because it's yes. only five pounds. You've got to join up. Only five pounds, and you can do that by going to Chelsea Supporters Trust. Uh, there we go. Dot com. Uh, now, if you do that, five quid for an individual member that enables you to vote, which is a good thing. Uh, we're particularly keen to hear from anybody who's overseas. If you belong to an overseas official supporters group, you could, the whole group could join as an affiliate, or you can as an individual. Uh, if you haven't got any money, then you can still join up as a non-paying member. You don't get to vote, but it's still worthwhile doing it. Now we've uh, got an SGM coming up, so definitely sign up for a vote. Love it. Yeah, yeah, then, I like a no, bit of SGM. Yeah, the notice for that will be out within the coming days. And if you have any anything you want to raise at that, that then email the trust at inquiries at chelseasupportstrust.com. Uh, more important, even than the SGM, is the fact we've got a Christmas party and it's going to be on Friday, December the 13th, because we, we ain't afraid of nothing. We ain't afraid of nothing. Friday the 13th? Yes, and it is at the Black Ball Pub, which is a proper old Chelsea pub just down the road from Stamford Bridge. Tickets are £5 for members, £10 for non-members, which will include you signing up to the CST. Numbers are very, very limited. You need to email events at chelseasupporterstrust.com and reserve your ticket now or else. Now, last but by no means least this week, a uh, little plug for the best fanzine in the world with Matter, the one and only on the cover. Um, it's a shame that Chesney Hawks wrote that song because it would have been a great song yeah. for Matter had it not been by Chesney Hawks. You know what I'm talking about? Yep, yeah, I do. Anyway, I, get I the fanzine. The I am the one and only. Do you want me to sing it? No. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Fanzine's out. There'll be a new one out very, very soon. But if you can't get to the stall or you can't get to a game, don't worry. You can still get it digitally by going to cfcuk.net. I am out of puff, uh, but that's probably a good thing. It's probably a good thing. I am the one. No, 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 no not anything, anything. There's anything. nobody I'd rather be. I'm almost rather hear Darren sing. Tell you said you're out of puff. Now, enough. Me. Right, we've got to go. That is, I'm, I'm afraid, <coughs> it is in fact all we've got time for this week, uh, which has been a mental show, uh, probably because we've got some mental patients on it. Uh, anyway, um, we will be back next week. I believe we will be back, yes, I need to remind them to, to buy your book, Walter, but we will be back, I believe, at 1900 hours GMT next Monday night, and we'll be talking about the Schalke game and the West Brom game, of course. Hopefully a couple of wins to get us uh, back on track, which is where we belong. Now, you can email the show during the week uh, very easily at chelseafancast at gmail.com and, you know, send in questions and stuff for the panel for the next week's show or just if you want to annoy me or just say, Chidge, can I have your autograph, a signed autograph or a photo? No, don't do that. That would be very wrong in so many ways. Uh, of course, you can also follow us on Twitter at Chelsea Fancast. There we go. It's all very easy. Now, this show will be repeated at 3.30 a.m. in the morning and at 2.30 in the afternoon, and at 9pm in the evening, every day Chelsea, yeah! Chelsea, Chelsea yeah! Chelsea, Chelsea yeah! Chelsea, every Where? There we go. There we are. La, la, so, la, la, no excuses. La, la. Also, tomorrow, uh, probably early evening, uh, the show will be up in six parts uh, as a YouTube playlist on the Chelsea Fancast YouTube channel. And, of course, the good old-fashioned Old Money podcast will be available to download from iTunes and all sorts of other disreputable uh, podcast purveyors on Wednesday. And, of course, uh, if you have um, an iPhone, for example, or an iPad, you can actually go and get the Sports Tonight Live app. Or I think it's even an Android app, too. So you can get yeah. that. And you can watch this show live when you're on the bus, Andy. You could do that. You, I know you like doing that kind of thing. So how about that? Go and download the app, get it on your phone, and you can watch the show live on the phone. How about that? Right, now, time to say cheerio to my lovely people. Darren? Has it been a pleasure, Chidge? I wish I could say the same. Ross. <laughs> Cheerio. Lovely to see you, fella. Pablo. It's a good night. I've had fun. Have you had fun? I have, I have had fun, apart from Darren. 
Uh, Walter has been a legend. Here for the Chelsea! You're only here, here for the Chelsea! Fancast. Here for the Chelsea! Yeah, that's my red hand gang. <laughs> yeah, no, very, very quickly, because I did promise him. That is a brilliant book. That is... Uh, Mark Worrell compared Walter's book, The Red Hand Gang, to the writing of Joseph Conrad, who, I have to say, as a student of literature, is probably one of the best exponents of the English language that has ever been seen in a book. So who knows, in 25 years' time, people might be yeah. studying it for their GCSE? 25 years' time, <laughs> if I'm still alive, I'll be saying, I know Walter Rotten. There you go. And I know you too. And he signed, he, signed, he signed the copy I've got. So go and buy it. It's very, very... How much is it? Well, on uh, on Amazon, it's uh, it's under four pounds, the price of a pint, um, and at the CFC UK stall, it's a tenner, which I know is a lot of money, but I've got to cover the printing right. costs. We got to go, guys. <laughs> Benches, say bye bye. Lovely to see you this week. Have they enjoyed it in Mixler this week? Yeah, it seems that way as Good always. Stuff. <laughs> at least the sound was better, eh, Chad? Yeah. Lovely. Great to see you. Lovely to see so many new faces on the bench this week. Brilliant as always. Uh, right, thank you to Harryman for making the pictures work, and yes, for Aaron. Greg Gripper Grimes for trying to keep us in order, which I know is a tough job. Uh, thank you particularly to you lot out there for listening and watching. Uh, see you next time. Until then, keep it blue, keep it carefree, and keep it chills. The guy is the chills! They thought it's light, but we're lying. <laughs> <laughs>